Market development in the Niger Delta, MEAD, is a UK-8 funded program that uses a market-driven approach to reduce poverty in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. MEAD works with partners to generate inclusive economic growth in the non-oil sectors of the nine Niger Delta states, aiming to address the root causes of poverty and increased incomes. During its first phase, Implemented from September 2013 to February 2018, MAID raised the incomes of 150,000 poor people by about £18 million in total. MAID 2 began in March 2018 and will end in February 2020. It consists of two components, market development and the Edo State Investment Portfolio, ESIP. The market development component involves interventions in the fisheries, cassava, palm oil, agricultural inputs, poultry, and financial sectors. ISIP is working with partners to invest in interventions targeting groups found to be vulnerable to modern-day slavery, particularly trafficking and irregular migration. To stem incidences of trafficking and irregular migration, ASIP is stimulating livelihood opportunities and investment with private sector partners in select value chains such as apiculture, market linkages for rural producers, micro-retailing, skills development, fin finishing, and in others. With a mandate to increase incomes for over 30,000 beneficiaries, ASIP began to build linkages between rural farmers and the private sector companies who serve as off-takers across the selected markets. Private sector companies like Hills Harvest now off-take pineapple and plantain directly from farmers. Made at the moment have supported us by mapping farmers across Edo State in terms of their products that they make available. So from plantain, to pineapple, which we have done that for about the pilot set of farmers are 5,000. And currently, we have aggregated them and we are buying from them. We do about 250 tons of produce, plantain and pineapple uh, a month. And 5,000 farmers are the pilot phase. And we'll probably scale up to about 50,000 farmers over the next couple of months. Before, before, the software where are they? We want too much. It don't already too much. Nobody say they want too much. It don't too much before. Maybe say if I cut her, before I go see back, we go carry and go house, carry and go market. Before I go find, go follow me back. The stretch go still come out. But as soon as I take if I just cut her for farm, now will follow me buy her for farm. I don't get any other stretch again. Now my own to go house, go bath, rest, enjoy myself. ASIP, in collaboration with Edo Women for Agriculture and Enterprise, an initiative of the First Lady of Edo State, Mrs. Obaseke, have empowered smallholder farmers to raise and sell improved breeds of Noila birds. Today they have empowered 10 women with 1,000 beds each and 45 bags of feed to take the bed, to take the beds from day old to five weeks, which we are seeing today. So we are really excited about it. In the apiculture sector, ESIP is facilitating trade relationship between off-takers and beekeepers to improve productivity in the industry. Because of the training we've received and which we also render to other people, we've been able to achieve over 200% increase compared to what we used to make before. So they brought in people who are ready to purchase our products and that takes the job of marketing off our shelves and we focus more on the main work which is the bee farming. ASIP also facilitated an innovative financing model for beekeepers through Thriver Greek's crowdfunding platform. As proof of the concept, an initial 10 beekeepers received financing for 100 beehives and Thriver Greek is about to scale up to more beekeepers in Edo State. We've been able to 
increase impute finance um, smallholder farmers with um, impute such as beehives and also all the um, equipment that they need to um, start production of honey. Uh, we intend to reach up to a thousand of these farmers who would also increase profitability. The essence of the project, uh, there is a profit sharing plan that the farmers take get 70% of the profit and we take 30% after harvest is done. To reduce transaction costs and increase margins for micro-retailers, ISIP facilitated relationship between business management organizations, BMOs, and technology service providers to enable micro-retailers to bulk purchase goods using mobile app. We are improving distribution through partnering with the major fast-moving consumer goods companies to invest in last-mile distributions to get the products to the micro-retailers in the rural communities. We are also improving retail in the rural communities by giving them a software, which is the pay by app platform, which can easily be deployed on their mobile phones, where they can be able to place order for products or services in the comfort of their shops or their business, as well as manage and grow their businesses through the various services and tools at their disposal. ASIP is partnering with Edo Jobs, Edo State Investment Promotion Office, and the Edo State Tax Force Against Human Trafficking to stimulate employment opportunities, attract investments, and communicate alternative livelihoods to reduce human trafficking and irregular migration. Indeed, has been a great support to us and how to do jobs because since we signed an MOU to create jobs in partnership with each other, they have worked with us on some of our key projects. One of them is the Edo Innovation Hub. So at the Edo Innovation Hub, we have um, three things going on majorly at the hub. We have young people getting trained in IT and connected to jobs in the IT sector made us partner with us on um, a lot of digital marketing skills programs for entrepreneurs to help them to expand their businesses and get more clients online. Um, for the innovation of, in a more strategic area, made has also um, helped us with the management of the hub. So one major challenge of course for projects is that we have to ensure they're sustainable and uh, we needed to find a partner that could work with us to set up the hope in such a way that it can be sustainable irrespective of government's um, participation in the long term. And so they um, assisted us with getting a hub manager who had experience and who could put structures that were needed in the hub. So even though we were just a year old, we were happy to, I mean, to know that the hub is already 70% sustainable and able to fund these activities. Well, the kind of partnerships we are having presently and we made also we see ourselves as actually making Edo State the preferred destination for investors that come into Nigeria. Sustainability is at the core of ISIP interventions. Several non-governmental organizations have also benefited from the made facilitated market systems development approaches and are now changing their models training, certifying, and placing returnees and potential victims of human trafficking in employment and entrepreneurial positions. To sustain stakeholders' efforts in stimulating alternative livelihoods to the susceptible population, ESIP facilitated market systems development training to strengthen partners' capacity and ability to implement innovative and high-impact programs. My way of management, I have improved because there were some things I took as strength. But I know that as a manager, you need to know what they call human resource management. You need to know financial management. And when you're doing business, you do business taking into the from personality or relationship. And so I'm doing more business now rather than just running as an organization. And also I kept my books better now. After this training, I have a good vision. And the vision is I want to open my own fast food where I'll sell pastries, like small chops, bake cake, and another section where I can cook food. 
Well, I'm here to add more skills to the ones I've gotten already. And I want to add more knowledge to what I've gotten before. And I want to be a better person to the society and to the master. So when Meg came into the picture, they came in to strengthen what we already had. And they helped us to put additional value to a lot of things we were doing. For example, there were some things we were doing and we didn't know their value in monetary terms. And so Meg taught us to put value to everything we do. They At Junior Sum now, the air for fit training has helped us at the, even at the trustee level to do things professionally and to see how projects we get involved get sustained. We went for M4P training. It was an eye-opener for us. We didn't even realize that what we're doing was we're creating impact. We're dealing with the less and vulnerable, you know, vulnerable people. We're, but we didn't even understand such systems, the way the market systems work in Kenzam M4P, we didn't want to understand the, the level of impact we're, we're, we're creating, made, it, made us open our eyes. At least 6,000 small ruminant farmers and vulnerable households have been introduced to modern goat and sheep fattening techniques that helps to increase incomes. This is being implemented by a feed milling company now investing in Edo, working with community-based partners and paravets. The M4P training, I gained the whole value chain has to be involved in whatever uh, intervention we are doing. And there must be sustainability. That if made is not here tomorrow, that industry strives. So that has encouraged us a lot to do look in depth into what we are doing and get it right. To complement the achievements recorded, ASAP is building new relationships in sectors perceived as aspirational by the target audience. Some of the ESIP target beneficiaries have this to say. I'm also proud to be a baker. I can bake, I can make money for myself through cake and so many other things. I'm going to make use of this training to help my future and also help others. When I look at uh, my production of air fresh mostly, I'll say this is a potential big company tomorrow that, that can compete with the lives of a uh, and air fresh.